here we go, the beginning footage. This is Sunday, the 12th of April. And this is the second day of the work camp. We're gonna hear from this young lady whose idea all this was. Right there ought to be perfect. Tell me a little bit about what we're doing here now. Well, uh, we're starting a festival. What are we doing here, Dave? Yeah. Tell us about your plan for the whole thing. Okay, well, we're going to have this three-day festival. Um, it's going to benefit the community, and we're going to give away scholarships. Uh, but mainly what happened is this barn right here. There's the barn. This barn, the foundation was really bad, and it needed to come down or be restored or something. And... Um, it was just, I had, to get, I had to do something with the barn. So I was thinking about doing this music festival, so we decided to, to bring the barn down and use the lumber for the stage, which is over there in this natural amphitheater bowl-like piece of property. Yeah, I got a good shot of it. Okay. The individual came here yesterday with a backhoe and he cleaned it all out and we took a look at it and made some preliminary plans on what we're going to do with it. Everything is kind of hit and miss, although she has a basic idea where we're going. Most of the things just go on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, we've got the bands kind of scheduled and booked. Um, and we're going to have a variety of cultural type music. And we want uh, it to be a real family situation, so we want a lot of kids. We're going to have a big kids area, a big kids tent with lots of activities for them. And um, it's going to be really fun. We're excited about it. Yeah, this is Dave Hagedorn. Dave's a neighbor of Stacy Joe's. He's been here yesterday and today. He's pulling some siding off of the back side of the barn right now. That is the project we're involved in at the moment of tearing this barn down. Had a campfire here, a fire last night, and got a couple other outbuildings that we're gonna, she's gonna try to do something with. towards the east end of the farm. At the, at the moment, there's a guy named Tony who does bead jewelry, and he's got his little machine down there. He's packing up to head out, and apparently there's gonna be some parking in this area over here. Pine trees here right now. She's got some very big plans for this place. Something very similar to what they call Bliss Fest over in Bliss, Michigan. It's supposedly where we're headed with this thing. Again, it's just an idea, a vision that she has. We're all hoping for the very best. This is another view of the barn. We took the roof off of the south end of it yesterday. We got two fires going today. This is the back side of the house. And what we're hoping to do is to get a record here of the growth and the projects as we do them a little at a time, just to have some kind of an idea of where the humble beginnings. This is the second day of another work weekend. It's Sunday. We spent the day out here yesterday and started digging the holes. Getting This is the stage. We're digging, uh, say, 20 holes, I think. Putting cement discs in the bottom of it for support and then put the beams in there. This is going to be the stage area. Tractor was out here yesterday, Dave and Shirley, and they bored most of the holes. Then we got to dig them out by hand. A lot of work to do, but at least we're making some progress. Hey guys, get him. Uh, uh, hey, I don't need any sound effects. Uh, no grunting noises. <laughs> this is what it sounds like when we immediately come out after eating. Uh, well, it's harder to bend over. Notice the protruding stomach lines on these two men working here? They're full of barbecue chicken. What's the narration? I was talking about, yeah, I was talking about, yeah, that's it. Pat them stomachs. I was telling everybody about the barbecue chicken that we just ate. 
Okay, here we are. We got a little bit of the layout done. We're putting in the corner post now. We're going to stand the four corner posts up first, get them stuck in and kind of get a layout. And then we're going to drop some lines across here. We got 20, 20 beams. Some of them we dug holes four feet deep, stuck cement blocks and cement pads down underneath them. Sunday, May 24th, and it's another work weekend. This is Sunday. There's a couple tents down there amongst the trees. Got some of the people camped out here last night. Another beautiful sunny day. Michigan is really going through a period of dry, dry days. Fire danger is really high. We worked yesterday, Saturday. There's the first of uh, what we consider, or hopefully, is going to be many outhouses finished the trenching covering it up yesterday spent a big part of the day working on the i guess the band shell they're going to call it or the stage or whatever looks like it's in pretty good shape good morning serious now this is archival footage one day when this place is is doing very very well they're going to want to know who the names of everybody here yeah. so we got tony the bead man and shirley and uh, shirley is that your daughter shirley who's the lady what's her name amy, amy? okay we got amy on footage here we got uh chris hey We got a clown with a chainsaw who's eliminating everything. Okay, and Janet. And Tom is up on. And Tom. My name's Bob. And Dave and. Who's the guy with no shirt? What, who's the new guy with no shirt? What's your name? Steve. Steve. Okay, we got Steve now. Steve, you are now part of history. Seconds of okay, up until a half hour ago, we were making some real progress. And then all of a sudden, we discovered that the chief cook and bottle washer made a small calculation sure. error. A half hour ago, you were at the lumber yard. You are making progress. <laughs> anyway, we're not doing a hell of a lot of good, but we're having fun. We must be surely smiling. <laughs> Chuck's getting ready to do the last feet or whatever it is. What?
yesterday. farm again at 621. It's Father's Day Sunday. Just another progress report. I've had the floor on for a while. Yes, the trusses are coming next week on the weekend. This is the sound booth. It's, I don't know what the plan is there. We were out here all day yesterday and we cleaned up the fire pit area. And this is it used to be a hog's pen, and we're opening it up and making it stronger. We did some work to the base yesterday. Today we're gonna try to make the roof a little stronger. Shore it up, give it some strength. I'm going to use it for an information booth and a sales booth of some sort. A lot of work. We got a lot of eager beavers out here working on the stage still. took out of the floor of this place. One more month. The pig pen. They're working very hard at trying to get the floor in here. We'll be done enough to have it. We won't be we won't be perfect. We'll be done enough. A lot of hard work. Okay, here we are on Sunday, the day after 4th of July. We went to the fireworks last night. Beautiful, beautiful day. And we're back at it again. This is the roof that we put on the pig pen yesterday. Got a few finishing touches to put up. And this is the... the trench? The what? This is the stage where this, they finished putting up all of the trusses yesterday and getting them up. Now they're putting on the roofing boards. Progress is being made here. We got about three or four weekends left. So there's really no extra time. This is the sound booth. I don't know what else they've got to do to it, but there it is. Just finished having a pancake breakfast inside the house. It looks like Dave Hagedorn. Steve. Here's Chuck doing it inside the shelves for the pig pen. Are you having fun yet? Yeah. Fun is what we're having. I'm getting thirsty. Dave. There's Bob and Dave putting up some board on the dance floor. Stage. Stage. Can you get him? Yep. Are you recording this time? <laughs> yep, I'm recording this time. I'm getting it right. <sighs> I'm getting it too. 
Hey, now I can really see what they're doing down there. Before I couldn't tell. You're right. It's what am I gonna do? Up the rink, down there, Jan. Okay, here we go. Saturday, 2:29 p.m. Two minutes, go. I got hard workers. Six. We got Scott the Hammer Man, Steve One Shovel Man, Mike, Janet. I can't see Mike. Okay, Mike. Okay, Janet. We're just cool. We're you got a much nicer butt. Okay, and up on the roof we got the... Don't hide. Everything that's crooked is the fault of this man right here. That's me. That's him. And we'll slide down to the end and... Where's Dave? There's Dave. And his infamous hat. The only guy missing is Bob. Where's Bob? Oh, there he goes up the ladder. Everything that was done wrong today was... We attribute to Bob. Bob and Tom. I got Scott already. And there we have the Saturday crew. Get started. Somebody, oh, come on now, Bob. It isn't that bad. I mean, you do look bad for the morning, but... Did you shave this morning, Bob? Where'd everybody go? Where'd Pat go? What's your last name, Pat? Well, not on camera. Ask me when you turn that off. No, come on. If I told you... This is a... Yeah. Massage. Massage? Yeah. Like in Dave Manson? Mass. Oh, Matson? Yeah. Like in Gary? Where is my... That's my accountant's last name, Gary Matson. Matson. M-A... M-A-S-U. Oh. What are you two whispering about in here in the kitchen? <laughs> Where is Babe. the All right, who took my boot? Oh, we got that on film. Who took my boot? Did you guys take my other boot? It's gone again. <laughs> the disappearing oh, boot trick. Looks like you tell me it's boot. Hey, honey. Here she comes. She went in to gather the morning's breakfast. <laughs> she went out to gather this morning's breakfast, and boy, are we in trouble. We get one egg. We got some scissors and some string. Why are we in the video? Good morning. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, get that on film. Because somebody's going to look at it and say, who's that lovely young lady with a bright personality? And you, and you, Tom has lost his boot this morning. Lost your boot? Yeah! Again and again, and the boot fairy came and got it. You're not, you're kidding. You still I found it. Hey, we're driving into the Farm Fest. Pretty. I don't know if they did the eight or something. Oh, they're filling in the trench. Oh, are they? Yeah. Okay, can you fill in? Are you getting it? Mm-hmm. Looks like Dave's getting ready to leave in his truck. Oh my God, Tony's working. Oh, I wish I shouldn't have said that, because if Tony ever watches it, if he can't, why can't you walk? Uh -huh. You want to walk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once we're gonna know what it's like right in the in road there. to go back to the second stage. Second stage. And there's the barrier that we put up yesterday. Oh, yeah. In front of the campfire. Ooh, that looks pretty good down there today. You might have to erase all of this. <laughs> what? I'm trying not to get any rust. <laughs> I'm videotaping you right now. Heading out. Rust. This is second stage area where we just started to mow and clean up here and everybody's on the stage, a few people anyway. Stacy and Brenda and Paula. And one of the guys helping out here. It looks a lot better than when we started. All kinds of raspberries here we've been picking. 
And this is the path back to the main stage. This is the path leading to the fire pit right here. We came on Saturday and put these, this fence up by the fire pit. It really added a lot. This is to pre prevent people from going down this way because it's a dangerous path here. And there's the seats that we built out of the timbers. So much progress. area here and putting the boards on sideboards on the building and Bob and Dave are working on it here here's a picture of the farmhouse Stacy's farmhouse and a little bit of the property we got lots of help today Hey, Jeff, didn't I see you before at Glen's Market? Tom and Norm and James and Tony. Oh, gosh, I've been so many names here, I'm forgetting them. Doing a great job on this building. What's a good word, Tom? explosion. Actually, they were shooting kids. We shoot them often up here. When they don't do what they're supposed to, we don't spank them. We don't sit them in the corner. We just shoot them. So you better start doing what you're supposed to. Barn's coming along really good. Well, they were up working already at 6.30 this morning. He went to work? This is Janet taking Christine on the beginning of her tour. This is the little orphan dog with the bad leg that apparently has adopted everybody here. It was here last weekend and apparently decided to stay. There's the sound booth. There's sounds coming out of this booth, too, but I don't know what, what it is. Wouldn't it be great if you could just take off some Friday afternoon in a chartered Learjet to Nashville, New York, or... And I got a water pipe arrangement here that I've made up. She needs somewhere here. Ten faucets, so I brought this thing and made it up, and now I got a mount. I'm waiting for Dave Hagedorn to come down. Nice going, kid. You do nice work. And we put this thing up now. We had to move it three different times so we could find some place where there wasn't cement whole floor. Now it's Christine's putting rocks around the bottom and then smaller rocks and it'll use it to keep it from getting too muddy. There's the other third part of the team picking up rocks. Moving right along.
while making my Sunday morning rounds, I came across what seemed to be the ideal situation of peace and contentment here with this little dog, Buddy, laying here chewing his bone. And he was just ideally suited for this. And I just started to photograph him, and he got up and ran, and there's the bone. That's all that remains. This is all he has been eating. He's been here a week now. Is it that same bone? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> he loves that thing. I mean, he was just laying there. Oh, oh Mo. Hello. Hello. Well, here we are, and we got the hay people. Hey. 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 Delivering a fresh load of hay or something, or straw. What are they doing here? With this, with the hay? Yeah. I don't know. This is the final product here. We spent this morning putting wires up across the poles, running a temporary tarp on the second stage. Dave and I, Shirley and Janet gave us a hand, but they went up to fix the food. Temporary though it may be, we think it'll work. Not bad. Okay, we're recording the putting on the dance floor, building this dance floor. There's Mike and Chuck. And James walking away. This is the final layer. We had two layers of flooring here. The first one was real bare, trying to go through the steel. But the second is wood on wood. I'm gonna put a tarp on it to make sure it doesn't get wet. Stage is coming along to get the lights up today. You're Stacy and Jody, her daughter, having a great time on the dance floor we just finished. When you're dancing, you can get a little given a form like that, you can dance. Here's other Chuck coming down. Check it out.
you know, you know, the, you, you can check it out at the info tent. The, there'll be black and white cow bands for the weekend, and then every day it doesn't really color. If you don't have the right band on. Good so thing I wasn't recording at that moment. Take them from here, so we can get them straightened out. We don't have one file. Shit, can you say that again because we had a little yeah, pushback. Yeah, keep quiet for a minute. It's very important that we have the, the bands for all weekend that we'll all have, and everybody has weekend passes, Kind of looks like a, a Jersey cow, a black and white cow. If you are, and we have three different colored day bands. Uh, you can find out what color they are at the info tent. Under age people, <laughs> under drinking age, 20 and under, will have a red line drawn through the middle of their band. So you can recognize people under age. And once again, this. Do we have those bands?